Hey guys, it's August, so naturally we're looking back at what happened in July. When we talk about overall what happened in the whole real estate market in the month of July, it was a great month. The number of sales went up significantly to 1614 versus last July in 2017, we sold 1524, uh, both residential and condos. Now, the other thing is the money went up. So the average price of a house in Ottawa, both residential and condo for 2018 July was 403,774. And in 2017, it was 387,115. So that's an increase in average price of 4.3% for the month of July, so year over year. If we look at where we are for the year to date, where everything is lining up for the first seven months of 2018 and compared back to the first seven months of 2017, we've sold so far this year uh, 11,321 versus last year at this point in time, we were only at 10,913, which is an increase of 3.7%, that's good. The other interesting thing is the money has also gone up exactly by 3.7% to uh, a total average price of 411,181 versus last year at this point, we were at 396,563. So great growth across the board, uh, not just for the month of July, but also for a year to date. Now, if we're gonna break it down and get into the residential side by itself, we sold 1,238 residential properties in the month of July versus in 2017, we only sold 1,195. So that's an increase of 3.6%. The money went up as well uh, to 441,206 versus last year for the month of July. The average price of a residential home was 420,347. Uh, that's an increase of 5%. Okay, that's awesome. If we look at the year to date on the residential side, we are we, we're, we're we're just starting to creep up and sell a few more residential properties. We've sold to date so far 8,809 versus last year we had. 8,756, so a minor increase of 0.6%, but the month of July really helped bring that up with more residential sales. Now, residential world is really helping jack our price up. We're almost at 450 for the average price of a residential home in Ottawa. We're at 449.004 versus last year, year to date, we were at 426,818. So that's an increase of 5.2% on the residential side for the, the price of homes year to date. So that's good increase. If we look at the condo side, what we're seeing is still an increased number of units sold. Uh, and this month in, in, in July, we finally started to get an increase in the actual price. We've had a pretty not marginal growth rate in the average price of a condo uh, so far year to date, but the month of July has been really good for us. So the number is continuing to, to outperform last year, 376 uh, uh, for the month of July versus 329 for the month of July in 2017, an increase of 14.3%. The money in July, though this is the important thing, the take home, is we're starting to see that rise that we're seeing on the residential side, finally now on the condo side. So we're gone up to an average price of 280 Two, sorry, 526 versus last year was 266, 403. That's an increase of 5.3%. Those are the increases that we're seeing on the residential side, on the condo side, finally. Okay, if we look at the year to date where we are in condos, 2,512 condos sold versus last year. At this point, 2,157 condos sold. That's an increase of 16.5% on the number of units sold year to date. And the price, like I said, is starting to creep up now. We're an average now of 278,545 versus last year was 273,749. Slight increase of 1.8%. So we're starting to see the condo prices creep up finally, which is great news for everybody who owns a condo. The numbers are just skyrocketing. So all of this is a lot of information. How does it matter to you when you're either selling or buying? That's gonna be, mm, requiring more of an in-depth conversation about your personal situation. So call me at 613-314-3187 and we can have that conversation face-to-face. -face. Until then, Sty Fire out.